The government doctors have arrived at the Mulago Hospital complex in Chirudu to examine Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament Francis Zake. The examination follows a request by the Uganda Law Society for the Director of Public Prosecutions to ascertain claims of torture by security agencies. Zake is hoping to complete examination today before he can be allowed to fly out of the country for medical treatment. NTV's Juma Chiria is now standing by at the hospital and uh, wants to give us an update. He's been speaking to some health experts. Uh, Juma, what, what is the current, uh, what is the update now on uh, Zakay's case? And have you seen the doctors? Uh, what are they saying? Thank you, Malcolm. Uh, currently, we are at Chirudu Hospital where the MP for Mitiana Municipality has been since Thursday night. And uh, today, a team of doctors from the Ministry of Health have arrived here and have done some medical examinations. Uh, we, 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 uh, with Dr. Oboku Ekwaru, the president of the Uganda Medical Association, who was witnessing the process. So we want him to take us through what really happened. Uh, doctor, first of all, how has been the process? Well, good afternoon. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, this morning I was uh, invited by... Uh, the senior councils of the uh, Honorable uh, Zake, specifically uh, Honor, uh, Honorable Asuman and, uh, and Mr. Nicholas Opio, to be part of their team to, you know, to, to witness the whole process. Uh, this stems from the fact that uh, Honorable Zake had not consented uh, to the examination and therefore thought that uh, having uh, his, his legal team as well as, uh, uh, as, as representation from a group of doctors who are not necessarily uh, asked by government to come and do the examination to be there. Uh, we did the same on Friday. We managed to send two uh, specialists in the examination room where Honorable Chakulani was being examined. What I want to make clear is that uh, this process is it's been done professionally by the team. There were senior colleagues from mainly Mulago Hospital as well as here who came and examined Honorable Zake and that uh, these are also our members anyway. It's just that they work for government and government uh, uh, commissioned them to come and conduct this, uh, this examination, this assessment. So uh, I would not be in a position to discuss the details as that is subject to the doctor-patient relationship of confidentiality and privacy to some extent and uh, will give opportunity for the very professional team which came about today to write their independent report. Uh, obviously, uh, Honorable Zake and his family as well as the lawyers um, are expecting that by the end of the day he will be traveling abroad. Uh, I also wanted to make it clear that this is not a, a medical matter anymore. We are really part of the process uh, with the doctors who already from Rubaga Hospital recommended that Honorable Zake and the Honorable Chakulani travel. But it became a security matter, it became a political matter, and this is how it's being handled, something that is outside our, 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 our jurisdiction or realm of practice. Yeah. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, all that is being awaited for is the report when to be produced and that pro with probably when the Honorable Zake will travel out of the country. At the moment, we shall keep you updated on everything that happens here at Chiruru Hospital. Malcolm, back to studio.